Hi guys, this is me Gayatri and welcome to my channel Gayatri's Craft. So in today's video, I'm going to show you these frames DIY. I made these frames using only cardboard and masking tape. So further wasting any time, let's start making these frames. For this here, I'm using a cardboard, make lines on it. I am taking length 32 cm and for the width I am taking 1.5 cm mark all these lines mark 5 lines here Cut them out using a heavy duty cutter. You can see that thickness of the cardboard, that much thickness we need for the frames making. So it's really important that cardboard should be thick so here i am using a masking tape it's easily available on any local paint shop or you can also buy it online here i am covering this cardboard strips with this tape start applying this tape strip on middle of cardboard then turn it and then drag it backwards so tape can stick evenly on cardboard you guys have to do it like uh, i'm doing here Cut that extra tape from corners. Cover all the cardboard strip with this tape. have to remove some of tape where we will use glue because these tapes are glossy finish and we have to remove it from corners so cardboard can stick properly Thank you. 
apply fevicol on both corners then apply a tape outside of the corner so it will support it while sticking let it dry overnight like 7 to 8 hours okay so it's completely dry you can see so from here we will apply one more layer of tape for supporting it start applying tape from bottom to top side like i'm doing here cut corners using cutter then fold this tape towards top side of frame here you can see extra tape we will have to cut it using cutter i'm using cutter from back side of frame remove this extra tape and for the finishing i am using one more layer of tape this time i will ap apply this tape from top to bottom side start applying tape from top side of the frame like i'm doing here
so it's done you can see it's finishing For paint here I am using a golden spray paint you can find it easily in local paint shop it's cost like 180 rupees or these type of paints also available on online but they are little bit costly or you can also use acrylic gold paint which is available on stationery shop or if you don't have any gold paint then you can also use a black acrylic paint which also look good on this type of frames here I had done three frames Photos in my frame I had created in my phone using three apps Fonto, PixArt and Canva. You can install it from Play Store. They all are free to use for fonts. I'm downloading it from Google. Search free fonts on Google. Here I'm here you will find the font website. Click on it. Choose font style calligraphy and there are a lot of font styles you you will find a lot of font styles here you can choose your favorite one my favorite is samantha so i'm downloading it click on the download button open that file install it Now open Fonto app in your phone, click on the plain images, select plain image, select its size, here I am selecting uh, 2 ratio 3 size, click on the pencil icon, you can see something here. You can see Samantha is here which we have downloaded, type B select fonts there are a lot of fonts you can select your favorite one here I am selecting my favorite one noto serif regular click on the move button and move your font then click on size and here i'm selecting 55 size then click on style and go on spacing choose letter spacing here i'm taking 9 again click on pencil icon type kind now click on my fonts click on samantha so here so here you can see that the swatches are not available in kind so we will create that swatches in pixart um, like move it and, and select the size and i am selecting here 172 place it and save it in jpg form Do not move this fonts because we need same three images and type another letter in it that you want like here i'm doing so here i'm talking about that swatches they are not available in that version that for that we will download full version we have to purchase that version and i'm not purchasing it so here i'm doing a hack for that swatches uh, that swatches are only available in that uh, Samantha word so we will cut copy and paste it in our image for that we will create a Samantha name pick like I'm doing here so open a new plain image in 2 by 3 size and tap 
type Samantha. You can see swatches are av available in it. Select full size and do like I'm doing here. Save it in JPEG. And now open the Pixart app. Here I'm using a normal version, not that purchased one. Select your first image. Then click on add photos. Here we will select swatches image. Now click on free crop. Select one swatch using brush like I'm selecting here. Save it, then place it. Like this. Now click on again on add photos. Select that swatch picture. Click on free crop. Select second swatch using brush. Then save it. Save your image. Go back and select another image. This time swatches are saved in stickers. So we will click on stickers. Click on my stickers and use it. Now we will use Canva app for selecting image size for printing. Here I am selecting a custom image. You can see here. Here I am typing my size. Drag your image here. Open same three images like I am opening here. Drag your second image on it. Or third one. Here, here I am leaving some space uh, for that pictures because our frame size is uh, i have selected um, 32 centimeter and 22 centimeter so for this one we have to do this we have to leave some space from both sides 
save these photos so images are ready to print i had printed it on cardboard paper size 12 18 it's also called hard chart papers place frame on it mark it using pencil do not move it while marking now leaving 1 cm from marked lines cut extra paper use cutter lightly on marked lines so we can fold easily cut the corners fold it insert this paper in frames from back side if it not going inside then again mark lines inside and fold it again then try it it will goes use favicol let it dry and it's done do the same with another frames for hanging this frames here i am using six nails two for each frames so if you like this video hit that like button share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and turn on the notification bell so whenever i will upload a new video you will get the notification and you can also follow me on instagram uh, link is given in my description box thanks for watching